What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. I'm back at it again. I'm back with the clip loaded. And as you just seen, listen, I made a video in my earlier days where I said you don't need money to attract women, okay? Understanding me making this video that that's still true, but there's a power of money, guys, that you can't really get around. See, the only thing that's more powerful when it comes to submission and ease of use and things with women, the only thing that's more powerful than having money is having their mind. But the problem is getting a woman's mind, you can't really game your way into their mind. To get a woman's mind, you just gotta be yourself, like I tell you guys all the time. So that's gonna take time. She's gonna have to really get to know you for you to get her mind, for her to feel like there's no man like my man. Okay, you're not gonna get that just from jump. If you have money, you gotta realize these women are gonna be submitting from jump if you got money. That, that's just the fact. Nine out of 10 women you run into, if you got money, they gonna make it do what it do. They gonna be submissive. They gonna play sugar spice and everything nice. They gonna smile in your face. They gonna twerk. They're going to slurp you up. They're going to give you that 7-Eleven slurpy. They're going to make it do what it do. That's just a fact. That's why I tell you guys all the time. Listen, you shouldn't be getting money for women. You should be getting money for yourself because you don't want to live at your mom's crib because you want to have nice things because you want to be comfortable and not be stressed out about money because you want to have a legacy for your kids. But you guys have to understand when you have money, you don't need game. It makes everything faster. Y'all just seen that old rabbi Jewish man in there. He doing that corny ass rap. She looked at him like she wanted to say, man, if you don't shut that shit up, you disrespecting my culture. Why are you doing that? You trying to be funny. But then she thought about it. She said, I'm on this man. Yeah, he's a millionaire. Let me shut the hell up and bow my head to this music. And guess what? She going to let that old 60-something year old man tear that ass up. She going to let him wear her out. And y'all think it's because she's attracted to him? Y'all think it's because he got her mind? She clearly thought his rapping was corny. She's gonna let him do it because he has money. Now, imagine if you young, so you actually have the sex appeal and you got that money. Are you kidding me? Let me tell you guys something, yo. Having your stuff together, being established, you can't get past, like, like I said, the only thing more stronger than have, being established and having your stuff together with women is just who you are as a person. But like I said, that takes time. You guys gotta understand. Like, think about it. Say you like, you you dealing with like 20 to 24 year olds. You know what you could do with $100 with 20 to 24 year olds? Listen, when I was back when I was in college, women would just sleep with you for being attractive still at that age. From the age of like 20 to 24, they'll still sleep with you just because you're attractive or you got status. But if you have money, let me explain something to you guys. When I was in college, I had my own place, okay? And I had my own whip. I had a charger with rims and I had my own place. When I tell you, it would just draws off as soon as women came in my place. It would draws off. And then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with that age bracket, think about what you could do with $100, guys, when you're dealing with Generation Z. Just $100. Half of Generation Z don't want to work. Half of Generation Z don't got no money. They still living with their mama. They don't work They don't work on their body, nothing. Imagine if you work on your body like I'm telling y'all to, and you get in your paper like I'm telling y'all to, you got $100 and you go to a 20-year-old with $100. Guys, women will sleep with you for some weed. Understand, you can roll up a butt and they'll sleep with you. Women will sleep with you because you brought them some shots at the bar or you brought over some, some tequila. They'll sleep with you for that. So imagine if you got $100, like I said, you go to the average broad on a college, you got $100. That's enough to get her her own eighth and her own bottle of Patroni. You think she's not about to give you some ass that night? You crazy. You crazy. Do you mean money to attract? No, but money makes it easier. See, here's the thing. A lot of y'all either just want to be players because you don't want to get married or you don't want to have kids or a lot of y'all just young. Y'all don't know what y'all want to do yet, so y'all don't want to be players. Trying to be a player when you broke is one of the hardest and stupidest things you can do. I repeat, trying to be a player when you broke is one of the hardest and stupidest things you can do. Now you got to hope she just thinks you sexy enough that she just want to have sex with you. Or you got to hope that she just think your body or whatever the case may be, your physique is fine enough that she just want to have sex with you. It becomes way harder to get sex out of women when you don't have money because at the end of the day they know that they v-box is worth money they're not stupid listen every woman done even sold or thought about selling her v-box before i don't give a damn like what race nothing they all so they, they're not stupid so they know man i can give this to a 50 year old or a 40 year old and i could be in a penthouse getting my back blown out why would i give it to you for free unless like i said you got clout or you got that physique up the, the money is not gonna hurt Look, listen like I said, imagine what you could do with $100 at the junior college, guys. They will go crazy. You ain't going to impress no 30-year-old woman with $100. That's not even enough to you know pay her back mortgage or her back rent. The memorandum went up. You ain't going to impress her with $100. But you can go straight up to 20-something-year-olds with $100, and you can get it popping. Now, imagine, like I said, if you're this old man... He a millionaire or something. He got this young girl on the boat popping it. Imagine if you was a young man getting your money popping like that. Like I'm about to take Sam on the boat tomorrow. You guys got to understand. Getting your money up 
like I said, it's really for yourself, but of course it's gonna absolutely help with women. Cause at the end of the day, like I tell you all the time, women is broke. They went to college, took a stupid ass major that ain't gonna make them no money, and they got a hundred thousand dollars worth of student loan debt. That's why they all want high value men, cause they really want somebody to pay that high value debt. I told y'all all that before. But getting your money up, it absolutely has an effect on women. You're gonna find them to be way more submissive. You're gonna find them to be way more tolerable of your BS. <laughs> You're gonna find all of a sudden now they don't care about other bees being around. They, they, three some conversations, swinging conversations. All that's gonna be way easier when you get your money up, okay? Now you don't gotta trip because like I said, with a hundred dollars you can gas most of these chicks up. Y'all gotta understand, most of these dudes don't even have a hundred dollars. With a hundred dollars, you could gas most of these girls up. You could pipe most of these girls up. So understand, I'm not saying that you gotta be rich, but you guys have this mindset, you don't gotta spend no money. You don't gotta spend no money to get with women. Yeah, but then you have to spend time. And to me, like I told y'all before, time is more valuable than money. Cause I'd rather just take a shorty out, you know what I'm saying? Take her on a date, fill her belly up, and then fill her V-Box up, you know what I'm saying? Or buy her some weed, or buy her a little bottle or whatever, get her lit, and then fill her V-Box up and be gone in an hour, than to spend two weeks of my time talking on the phone, texting, and trying to build a connection, because I ain't got no money to spend. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all. When you have money to spend, you don't have to build a connection. When you got money to spend, it's just like you see this money chick, get your ass on this boat, pop this pussy, and be gone. Oh, you talking to other girls? You got damn right. I'm always be talking to other girls because I got money. You ain't the only one who want this money. Now, you could be the main piece or you could be no piece. How you want to play this? So money is power. Do you need money? No. But like I told you guys before, time is more valuable than money because you can use that time to make more money. If I'm spending, like I said, hours talking on the phone, FaceTiming, texting and all this stuff with a woman, when at the end of the day, I could just come in, you get know what I'm saying? Take her somewhere nice or like I said, give her like a hundred dollars a cent, smoke her up, gas her up, get her lit, do what I need to do and get back to this money. That's better, that's easier. That man had a day off, he put that bitch on the boat, put this young ass, fine ass girl on the boat and at the end of the day, she gonna make it do what it do for that man. And to me, that's a way better deal than spending all your time and energy and effort trying to convince a girl to give you some ass because you don't got no money. Y'all need to work. Masculinity is frail right now. And a part of masculinity is working. If you're a working man right now, you got your stuff together. Like I said, you could do a lot of damage at the junior college with $100, guys. That's it. With just $100. Most of these dudes is broke now. Most of these dudes don't have their own place now. Most of these dudes can't give you that experience. Like I told y'all, lifestyle is one of the ways to get women to submit. This man's 60 years old, got a fine bitch on the boat. Submit it to him because he got the moolah. It ain't because he white, it's because he's established. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. So follow the program, man. Get it yourself established. Then the V-Box just gonna come. And you ain't gonna have to pretend to be nobody's boyfriend to get you some sex. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.